Um, you guys are in for the ride of your life when it hits cinemas on Thursday. Um, my heart is racing already, again, just watching the trailer. I've been lucky enough to see the film. Um, please welcome along tonight. We're very, very honoured to have with us a, a man who's, who's been part of Marvel for, for so long and probably you, he's been behind so many of the Marvel films that you guys have seen and loved. Uh, and a man who's brought new heart and soul and roar like no other person could to the character of the Hulk. Please welcome Mark Ruffalo and Kevin Feige. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you for being hello, here. Hello. Thank you. Um, Kevin, can I start with you? Yeah. Because uh, you've been behind, you've worked on so many Marvel films. Um, why was Avengers Assemble right for now? Why was it right to do this film now? Well, you know, when we became our own studio, what was seven years ago, uh, we wanted to make a great Iron Man film, we wanted to make a great Hulk film, and uh, midway through production of the first Iron Man film, it sort of occurred to us that we had all of our other characters at our disposal. That was not always the case. I like the Hulk action figure in the front row. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was not always the case at other studios. Um, and that's what led to the Sam Jackson cameo at the end credits of Iron Man. And after the opening weekend of Iron Man 1 and did so well, people sort of said, well, what else do you have? And that's when we decided we're going to have Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, all build up towards Avengers. So it's been about seven years. So you're asking why now? because we'd finished all the other films. <laughs> <laughs> what about in terms of, 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 you know, the, of what this film was going to be about, what it encapsulated in terms of the history of the comics and, and what you've had prior to this film in terms of 500 Avengers issues over something like 48 years? How do you, how do you condense that? How do you get that story right? You hired Joss Whedon to write the script, <laughs> uh, which, is, uh, which is what we did, and he did a magnificent job of it. Um, and, and, you know, we had ideas of what we wanted uh, the characters to go through in that film based on where we sort of ended their stories in their, in their uh, solo movies. Mm. But, excuse me, Joss is the one that did the tremendous job of, uh, of assembling the team. And I guess it's that thing, because Marvel always are renowned for p picking the, you know, the right director for the right character, you know, whether it's John Favreau mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. comedic irony or, or the theatrics of Branagh with Thor yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like what did you want Joss to bring to this? I wanted to bring the, the characters. I wanted the characters to always uh, be at the forefront of the story. Mm. Uh, and we knew we were going to have, you saw in the trailer just now, the, the, lots of explosions, lots of visual effects, more visual effects in this movie than any movie we've ever done before. Um, and we didn't want the whole thing to collapse under its own weight. We wanted these amazing actors um, to, uh, to shine above everything else. And Joss Whedon, whether it's Buffy or Angel or Firefly, that's what he's done. Or Toy Story. It's all, you walk out of that, uh, uh, you walk out of this movie, I hope, you, you finish watching those series, talking about the characters, talking about the character interactions, even more than the great genre overlay. Mark, um, congratulations, because you. You, you do Hulk very well. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, last night at the premiere, I think, um, I, I hope it felt like a nicer moment for you, but I saw a gentleman who had a first edition comic of the Hulk, and yeah. he asked you to sign it. Yeah. That must feel like a nice trust <laughs> from fans to ask you to do that. Um, yeah, the fans uh, are... are hold Hulk very dear and um, <laughs> and uh, have a lot of strong opinions about who or who should not be playing him. <laughs> I heard you describe them as having exuberant passion. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a part um, that I've done or a performance I've done had been reviewed even before I shot a single frame before. Um, Was that scary? Was it, it intimidating? Uh, terrifying. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, it was a... It's been a, a really nice um, acceptance from them uh, that I've received and uh, culminating in someone asking me to, to sign the first edition <laughs> comic book, That's really which nice. is already beloved. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to take a, a look at a clip, actually, of, uh, of as we were, we were introduced to you in the film, where uh, you have a surprise visitor. <laughs> Quite rightly so, he's, he's a bit kind of reluctant. He doesn't want to be part of the team to start off with, does he? Why do you think that is? Um, uh, in the past, he's been known to get a little out of control. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he doesn't like that about himself. <laughs> and um, he, he's not sure that it's going to be any better this time around. Mm. What about in terms of, for you, uh, you know, those, those, the, those two characters that you had to play in the film? Um, what did you draw, I don't know, inspiration from or mindset of? 
Because well, you played you played both, which is is a first, isn't it? In terms of yeah, uh, one of the things that I really loved about this opportunity was that I'd be the first actor to have played both Banner and the Hulk, and um, you know that's only because the technology now is is developed to such a point where with motion capture the actor can really uh influence the uh, the, the cgi yeah um that was really exciting to me and um who did you like playing best pardon who did you like playing best who's your favorite uh <laughs> i like them both equally well i love them they're i love they're my babies <laughs> <laughs> One of them's pretty hard to cuddle, but never mind. Oh, <laughs> <Hulk> cuddle! <laughs> no, you, you mentioned Joss in terms of the, the you know discussion and that open kind of communication. It very much seemed to continue through the movie, that collaborative process that he he seems to have with his actors. Is that was that continuous? Um, I, I I said this. Uh, there's a hundred reasons why this movie should not work, <laughs> and there's one reason why it does, other than. These guys. One and a half. <laughs> one and one a half. Quarter. Two. There's two reasons why it does. He wasn't here, just the one. It's Joss Whedon and, very and Marvel. And, and um, Joss, from the very beginning, was incredibly collaborative. He, uh, he took me aside and, and we went through the entire um, uh, journey of Banner and the Hulk. And um, he sat there with a... Uh, with a notepad and, and, and literally wrote down all of the ideas that I had to mm. bring to it. This is, I think, even before I'd committed to doing it. And, um, you know, the opening sequence, we find him in Calcutta. And I, was, I said, you know, he's like, where do you think he is? I said, I think, he's, I think he goes to the one place in the world where there's so much human suffering that he can't for a minute begin to think badly about his own situation. And mm. that's Calcutta in the slums of Calcutta. <laughs> 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 we have an Indian representative here. <laughs> I think he might have a question in a minute. Too. Don't you think sure. we should do a, a, a version of Hulk that uh, starts in India? Wouldn't that be amazing? They can mistake he him for... He <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be able to get out of it. They'd think he was a god. <laughs> they could paint him blue, and that would be it. They'd, they'd put him on a throne. <laughs> uh, we're going to throw questions out to you in just one second, but I want to ask the whole kind of physical side of it as well, because for, for, every, for all of the, the, you know, the main actors, it's, it's pretty demanding you know, in terms of, and, 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 you know, and not least for you. Did you find that? Was that kind of a... Well, you know, it's strange. I made the movie, my part of the movie, completely by myself as far as the Hulk goes. Um, I mean, there was some stuff where I'm with the actors on set, but that, that wasn't a, a lot of the CGI and uh, the motion capture we did was for the fighting. Yeah. And so um, I was doing all that on my own with the, uh, with the geniuses at ILM, uh, Mark Chu, and um, and all of those uh, animators need to uh, be uh, equally acknowledged for any success mm -hmm. that the Hulk is, as well as Joss Whedon. Um, uh, it was a team. It was a collaboration. Mm. And um, any uh, uh, accolades that I'm receiving have to be equally given to those guys. Thank you very much. And uh, um, But I'm doing all that stuff by myself at ILM or... But my first, my first meeting at ILM, I met, there was, uh, they put me in my motion capture suit, which is incredibly unflattering. <laughs> I, I call it the man-canceling suit, <laughs> because you stick out everywhere you shouldn't and don't stick out anywhere you should. <laughs> And, 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 um, and so I met with another animator and we just wrestled and fought for like two and a half hours. I've been a kid. Yeah, it's, it's the best job in the world. So as physically demanding as it was, uh, it was also a blast. Sounds like you had an easy job compared to Scarlett. We're going to see this clip right now, which is the most beautifully terrifying choreographed scene, fight scene it's that involves amazing. a chair. This is incredible. I'm in the middle. Amazing. <coughs> This is, this is what I loved about it. Very rare in a cinema in the UK. In the States, it's different because everyone goes for it in the cinema. But you, you're in a cinema where you have gasps followed by belly laughs. The tone of this film is yeah. so brilliant. 
and, and, and that's down to the writing, I guess, but also the delivery of you guys as well, I think. It's a combination. Do you agree, Kevin? Yeah, I mean, Joss is, uh, is the master at that, right? And he, he really believes that he, he'll say, he'll make, he has a phrase that uh, sounds better when he says it, <laughs> that he, you know, he'll tell a joke at a funeral, right? He really does believe that humor is the way in to, to an audience. Um, and it's sort of nonstop. And we get bored if an action scene just keeps going, 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 and you're not invested in any other part of it. Mm. Uh, so there are moments in this film where just when you think the action is maybe got, and then he hits us with something else. Mm. Uh, the, like that cutaway to Coulson that you just saw. Yeah, and, and then this scene as well, which is, 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 is great between uh, Iron Man and, uh, and Tom Hiddleston, our, our body in this, who's just exquisite. It's great. This is our, our last <laughs> wow. Oh, I just, I just want to be part of the team. <laughs> want to be part of the team. Um, Tom Edelson, if I'm being honest, wouldn't be my obvious choice of a baddie if you had a lineup of actors. He is incredible, incredible. in this film. Amazing. His subtlety is terrifying. And um, why was he the right job for? for well, Loki? because Loki doesn't think he's a baddie, right? Loki is, you know, for for those who saw the Thor movie, it's as much an origin of the Loki character as it is of Thor. Uh, and we want a villain that has some some other textures. They may not all be apparent. Uh, uh, as he's gone off the deep end in, uh, in Avengers. But uh, he certainly believes everything that is coming to him is well-deserved. Uh, and Tom does an amazing job of that. Mm. Well, let's get some questions from you guys, because there are a lot of Great. you here. Uh, let's go this young lady here. If you just wait till the microphone comes to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, firstly, I saw it last night, <laughs> and it exceeds all the hype. It's amazing. You were dressed up, weren't you? No. Oh, I thought that's what <laughs> she was dressed, dressed up. <laughs> you were one. Of, you were the Hulk. She, she tried. Hey. <laughs> she was a great Hulk. She was awesome. Sorry, your question. Um, I just wanted to ask, um, Mark. Um, you're not really known for this kind of film. Um, it's mostly kind of indie dramas and um, the odd thriller. Um, is that a conscious decision you made um, to not do films like this? Were you waiting for the call from someone like Joss Whedon or did just nobody offer them to you before? There's a, uh, an interesting perception about actors that we actually pick the jobs that we get. <laughs> <laughs> but more often than not, we're picked for the jobs that we do. And um, I don't think it was a matter of uh, consciously not wanting to do something like this. It... it um, I just think it was a matter of timing and uh, somebody like Josh saying, hey, do you want to come and do this? I was uh, equally surprised as anybody else was that he was asking me to do it. Um, but if I saw myself playing any part, I, I, I thought it would be, I really, since I was a kid, attached to, was attached to the uh, Banner Hulk. Um, so, yeah, I love that show. So. Okay, next question. A lady there? Hi. Um, I was fortunate enough to go to the uh, premiere last night as well, and I loved it, um, especially the bit uh, in the rubble with you, which I'm sure a few of the ladies will enjoy in the film. Um, <laughs> Don't give anything away. No, 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 no spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> um, what I wanted to ask was, though, did you um, speak to Eric Bana or Edward Norton um, about the character before, um, just as a little chin wag, you know? Um... Well, let me just start by saying I, I have a great admire, admiration and um, respect for both of those actors, and I think they've been great banners. Um, and this movie is just a continuation of those performances. This is, it rolls right off. It's just an older, uh, more tired, oh, come on. Uh, more world-weary <laughs> version of Banner that is, is tired of running and has decided to turn and face the demon that's inside of him. Uh, uh, but when this went down, I, I am friends with, with Ed, particularly, and I called him and uh, said, hey, man, uh, I need to get your blessing before <laughs> I move on on this because uh, it it's feels a little... I don't want to tread in your territory. And he said, no, go, go for it. You, you, you should do it. You have to do it. And, and, that, that's, and then he made a joke. It's going to be like our generation's Hamlet. We're all going to get a chance to play it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Let's go over here. Uh, there, second or back. Four in. There you go. Hey, um, I got a question about the read-through. What was the first read-through like? What, what was the sense of... Was there a sense of massive expectation to it? Yeah. 
Did we do a read through? We didn't do one. Did you not? No read through. No, we didn't. Is that unique? Everyone was well. Everyone was sort of coming off. Yeah. Thor. I mean, uh, Chris was was finishing. (laughs) Did you do that? His sort of me. (laughs) Uh, Chris was finishing his um, his uh, Thor press. Uh, I was finishing. my oh, I was finishing the kids are all right. Press. Yeah, Evans had just come off of uh, some additional photography of Cap. It's it's not easy no to one get was them all there. one in one room, and it didn't happen until the bridge, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow, amazing! Right in the middle. Hi, I've seen the film twice now, so I've been fortunate to see it twice. Wow. Once yesterday, and at it the hasn't fan opened yet. Meeting. Everybody here's seen it. <laughs> Sorry what? about that. Did anybody buy a ticket? <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, both times I've ag- agreed at the point that uh, your performance steals the, sh- steals the whole film because wow. you are incredible as Bruce Banner and the Hulk is amazing out of the whole film. Um, but my question is, um, when you look at all the other actors playing all the other superheroes, do you think to yourself, I could do a better job? <laughs> no, I I don't think to myself that at all. <laughs> I'm like look at them and go, oh my god, what am I doing? That I'm I'm the I'm the only one who doesn't really belong here. That was basically how I felt through most of the shooting, <laughs> which worked really well for Banner, you know. <laughs> by the way, uh, this uh, question for both of you. Um, uh, being in part of such a huge film like this that I know since I was five years old, I've been excited to see this film. Uh, what was your first exposure to the uh, Avengers? Like, what was your first lineup of them? Uh, what was your first experience in seeing them? Like, the I'd comics? like to hear that from you, actually. Uh, you know, it was. I think it was the original team. I think it was reprints of the original of the original uh, uh, comics. Um, that, that's my, my biggest memory of it. I think it, I probably came to it via X-Men, to be honest with you, because I was reading the X-Men books in the early, in the early mid-80s and liked the team, and they said, you know, there's another team. Oh, really? Uh, and went back and, and sort of was exposed to, to Avengers that way. I also came to it through the individual characters. That's why it was important to me that we make the solo movies first, because what's cool about the Avengers comic is that it's not just a team. X-Men's a team. There are a lot of team superhero but that it's a team made up of all these individuals who have their own storylines and had you know, many, many issues before they teamed up together. Um, but I would say the original, the original team. I, I, uh, when I was a kid, me and my cousins would pass around um, comic books. And uh, I remember reading that original uh, Avengers with Wasp and Ant-Man. And, <laughs> and um, that was the first time I, I, uh, I came upon it. Um, and then, of course, you know, the later versions of the Ultimates. And, but this is really its own kind of reinvention of the Avengers in, its, as a, way, in a way. Um, before we move on to the next question, you mentioned Ant-Man. Yes. Can I ask you, can you tell us anything? Uh, Edgar, Edgar Wright, Wright and Joe Cornish yes. have written a very, very good draft. They've, they've been working on it for many, many years now. Uh, Since they were many, three? Many, many years. <laughs> oh, 03 or oh, 04, yeah. I met him at Comic-Con right after Shaun of the Dead came out. Uh, he made a couple other great movies since then. And I do think this summer, you know, we'll see some forward momentum with that. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Red, uh, red sweat. Right there, please. Fantastic film, guys. Brilliant. And Mark, congratulations for being the Hulk. That Thank you, you. You really bring it. Thank um, you. Just a quick one. <laughs> In terms of the Hulk, obviously there's so many different versions and developments of the Hulk character. As an actor, particularly wanting to evolve the character further, is there any ideas that you'd want to bring for any future iteration of the Hulk in the film? And quickly to Kevin, are we going to ever see the Black Panther or Luke Cage? You want to go? Um, you know, uh, we're... <coughs> I'm going to try and get Josh Whedon in a room and, and, <laughs> and, and work out uh, what, would be, what could be a Hulk movie um, with Kevin's blessings, hopefully. In, in between the many interviews and red carpets over the last few days, Mark and I have said, what, you know, what is a standalone Hulk movie? How do, we, how do we take all of this goodwill, all this forward momentum from Avengers into a solo Hulk movie? When that'll be, who knows? But the conversations are definitely starting. Uh, and Black Panther and Luke Cage... You know, we've got, we, have a, we have a draft on Luke Cage we've had for, for a number of years um, and a draft, actually, more recently of Black Panther. I'd love to bring them both to the screen. It's just a matter of when. There's so much to choose from. You're like, 
It's just pretty showered in, there's hundreds showered in of, greatness. It's amazing, all those, all the comics and all the characters, and it's, uh, it's an incredible uh, treasure trove. Okay, um, gentlemen, right here. Banner and Stark got very buddy buddy. Is there any chance he's going to appear in Iron Man three? And is there any update on AKA Jessica Jones as well? Uh, AKA Jessica Jones is uh, being developed as a television series, and no, no update, but that's an active development. Uh, <laughs> I almost gave away the ending of Avengers. I'm glad I didn't do that. I, I know. <laughs> that was I know. Good. I'm taking it for granted. Everybody's seen the movie. Yeah. Uh, no, he's not in Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 is definitely a solo, Tony-centric uh, film. Uh, okay, lady right at the back there. Um, I, yeah, I saw the movie, sorry. Um, <laughs> but um, it was a great performance, and uh, it was really great to see the fan reaction, especially because I actually saw you at Comic-Con a few years ago, and so I really feel that you know, the fan reaction's really positive and come a long way since then. But my question was, the character, there's a lot of sadness, I felt, um, particularly a couple of lines, which obviously I'm not going to say, but was that intentional to, to have that kind of theme of sadness with the character, certainly more so than any of the others? Um, he, he, you know, he's the one, he's the only one who, who, who doesn't really want what he has. Or, you know, it's caused him a lot of problems. And he has no control over it. And I think he, at this point, there, there is an amount of sadness about the, the life that he, didn't, he never had. And, um, you know, there's one particular moment in there that kind of references maybe having a family or, you know, and, and that's, um, that was something that Josh and I talked quite a bit about. Uh, you know, it, it's not a... He's not a sad sack, I don't think. He, no, he's, he's active in his life, but there is that slight melancholy that um, because of his situation, he, he never was able to really have a family, which is a nice dynamic inside of him, or, or, or a life, you know? A woman, someone soft and cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> cuddly toys for Hulk, everyone. Um, okay, uh, let's go to... Where is the microphone? Are you, has this lady still got the microphone? No. There's one down the front here, actually. A gentleman right down the front who's been waving. Um, I was just wondering, Kevin, now that um, Disney and Marvel are together, um, are there any, is there any chance for an animated Marvel film in the future, like a uh, Pixar film or something? Well, you may notice that nothing's been announced yet or, or anything, but certainly logic would dictate that when you have our characters and their amazing animation studios, certainly there have been discussions. So I don't know when, but it would be amazing if that could happen someday. Cool, that'd be brilliant. And Thanks amazing park rides. <laughs> um, if you could pass the mic back that would be great thanks I, um, I also haven't seen the film and I cannot wait till next Thursday um, I'm, I apparently missed out on some kind of free ticket about <laughs> everyone else um, ke- question for you Kevin um, just moving on slightly from the Avengers with now this obviously looking like it's going to become a huge hit is there any chance of Marvel looking to get back the rights to some of the other characters like Spider-Man or X-Men or even Fantastic Four for future I think the ones that, that could come back to us have come back to us. Um, the contracts are, are very specific and are very, you know, sort of long. We talk in years and decades in terms of those contracts. Um, the good news is The Amazing Spider-Man, which Sony's working on now, is a great movie. I loved X-Men First Class that Fox did. So, it's, you know, if things continue like that, I think they'll all be in good hands. I'm going to ask the final question, if that's all right. I want to know what you both want the fans to take away from this film. <laughs> Okay, maybe I won't. <laughs> uh, I, I want them to have a great time and, 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 and want to tell all their friends to go see it. <laughs> like again. Did tonight. <laughs> and again. Um, Not you know, the real answer with heart yeah. and meaning. Uh, yeah. uh, no, to I mention want, the comic. I want the same things as you. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but, I, but uh, I, you know, I, I think that uh, Josh has, has couched a pretty significant meaning in in. in in this beautiful, fun-filled package mm-hmm. about um, community and about um, working together. And, um, you know, we're, we live in a world that has a lot of egos and, it's, and a lot of people who are very righteous about their positions. And, um, uh, and, and until the, we could come together as a team, um, we're not going to get anything done. And, and I think that's a little bit about kind of thematically what the movie's about. Brilliant. Well, listen, um, thank you so much for your time tonight. A huh. uh, huge round of applause. Great. Hulk film. And 
uh, midway through production of the first Iron Man film, it sort of occurred to us that we had all of our other characters at our disposal. That was not always the case. I like the Hulk action figure in the front row. Uh, yes. <laughs> that was not always the case at other studios. Um, and that's what led to the Sam Jackson cameo at the end credits of Iron Man. And after the opening weekend of Iron Man 1, and did so well, people sort of said, well, what else do you have? And that's when we decided we're going to have Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, all build up towards Avengers. So it's been about seven years. So you're asking why now? Because we'd finished all the other films. <laughs> <laughs> what about in terms of, 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 you know, the, of what this film was going to be about, what it encapsulated in terms of the history of the comics and, and what you've had prior to this film in terms of 500 Avengers issues over something like 48 years? How do you, how do you condense that? How do you get that story right? You hired Joss Whedon to write the script. <laughs> uh, whether it's Buffy or Angel or Firefly, that's what he's done. Or Toy Story. It's all, you walk out of that, uh, uh, you walk out of this movie, I hope, you, you finish watching those series, talking about the characters, talking about the character interactions, even more than the great genre overlay. Mark, um, congratulations, because you. You, you do Hulk very well. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, last night at the premiere, I think, um, I, I hope it felt like a nice moment for you, but I saw a gentleman who had a first edition comic of the Hulk, and yeah. he asked you to sign it. Yeah. That must feel like a nice trust <laughs> from fans to ask you to do that. Um, yeah, the fans uh, are, are hold Hulk very dear and um, <laughs> and are, have a lot of strong opinions about who or who should not be playing him. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you describe them as having exuberant passion. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a part um, that I've done or a performance I've done have been reviewed even before I shot a single frame. <laughs> which, is, uh, which is what we did and he did a magnificent job of it. Um, and, and, you know, we had ideas of what we wanted uh, the characters to go through in that film based on where we sort of ended their stories in their, in their uh, solo movies. Mm. But, excuse me, Joss is the one that did the tremendous job of, uh, of assembling the team. I, I guess it's that thing, because Marvel always are renowned for p picking the, you know, the right director for the right character, you know, whether it's John mm -hmm. Favreau in that mm -hmm. comedic irony or, or the theatrics of Branagh with Thor yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like what did you want Joss to bring to this? I wanted him to bring the, the characters. I wanted the characters to always uh, be at the forefront of the story. Mm. Uh, and we knew we were going to have, you saw in the trailer just now, the, the, lots of explosions, lots of visual effects, more visual effects in this movie than any movie we've ever done before. Um, and we didn't want the whole thing to collapse under its own weight. We wanted these amazing actors um, to, uh, to shine above everything else. And Joss Whedon, whether before. <laughs> um, Was that scary? Was it intimidating? Uh, terrifying. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, it was a. It's been a, a really nice um, acceptance from them uh, that I've received, and uh, culminating in someone asking me to, to sign the first edition <laughs> comic book, That's That's really which nice. is already beloved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to take a, a look at a clip actually of, uh, of as we were we're introduced to you in the film, where uh, you have a surprise visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Quite rightly so, he's, he's a bit kind of reluctant. He doesn't want to be part of the team to start off with, does he? Why do you think that is? Um, uh, in the past, he's been known to get a little out of control. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he doesn't like that about himself. <laughs> and um, he, he's not sure that it's going to be any better. Um, you guys are in for the ride of your life when it hits cinemas on Thursday. Um, my heart is racing already again just watching the trailer. I've been lucky enough to see the film. Um, please welcome along tonight. We're very, very honoured to have with us a, a man who's, who's been part of Marvel for, for so long and probably you, he's been behind so many of the Marvel films that you guys have seen and loved. Uh, and a man who's brought new heart and soul and roar like no other person could to the character of the Hulk. Please welcome Mark Ruffalo and Kevin Feige. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you for being Hello. here. Hello. Thank you. Um, Kevin, can I start with you? Yes. Because uh, you've been behind, you've worked on so many Marvel films. Um, why was Avengers Assemble right for now? Why was it right to do this film now? Well, you know, when we became our own studio, what was seven years ago, uh, we wanted to make a great Iron Man film. We wanted to make a